Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a daily, weekly and monthly planner add-ons. And we'll make it very simple to avoid distraction. So let's begin. So first thing is we need to take a page, click on add a page and let's name it as planner and let's hide this slide bar and let's make the screen white. So click on full width. Perfect. Now we have the full screen view. And whatever you want to do, you need to create a database first. So for that, click on slash and let's write timeline, timeline view and then click on new timeline. And let's name this database as same as planner. So for that, write planner and we don't need this database title. So let's hide this database title. And here we can see three cards name we don't need this let delete this and then let's change the timeline view name as daily planner perfect so in the right corner here we can see its monthly view let's change it as daily view perfect now we have the entire day's timeline and now it's time to create a planner or a to-do list so for that click on 10 am and let's name it as for example making a youtube video and then let's click on the task and here we can see some properties first thing is dead here you can see your timeline we don't need this asset property so let's delete this and here is the status property of your notion planner and after that we need few more property for example select property and let's add some option the first one is high then medium and then low let's reorganize it high would be in the top and medium in the middle perfect and let's rename it as priority so priority perfect and then the completion of our task so for that we need a checkbox property here is the checkbox and let's name it as complete sorry complete one thing i forgot to do is add an icon so let's add an icon so for example let's write task icon it's a perfect one all right so here we can see our task name but there is no details yet so for that click on three dot and then properties and from here you can show any property under the task name for example i want to show the priority property so let's click on the i icon and as well as complete property perfect we can see it here but the priority property is still invisible because we didn't select any priority yet for example i'm going to show as high priority and now we can see it visible here and after that once you complete the task just simply click on the done and now it's time to create a filter to make it more professional so for that click on it and we are going to filter as if any of your task is complete it will not show here so for that click on complete and complete is checked so if any of your task is complete it will be gone from your timeline view so it was our daily planner now it's time to create a weekly planner for that let's just duplicate this property from here and let's name it as weekly planner and now we need to change the view as from today to week and now you will find all of your weekly tasks here and then one thing is still left is monthly planner so for that again let's just duplicate this and name it as monthly planner sorry planner and let's change it as week to month so here is our daily weekly and monthly planner and if you create a weekly planner like this one i'll suggest you to create a calendar view as well so for that click on slash and then calendar view and then click on new calendar view and now this calendar view also sync with this timeline view one thing you can do also i can see only the task name here let's click on the three dot and let's show some properties for example completed properties and as well as the priority properties so let's drag it to the middle the priority now perfect so here is our daily weekly monthly planner and as well as calendar view we don't need this so let's hide this database title again so thank you for watching this video hope you enjoy well and still if you didn't hit the subscribe button don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button thank you